Disclaimer, the hosts of this podcast, Timothy Patrick and Will Foley, are by no means medical professionals. However, having lived experience with mental illness themselves, they have gained useful perspectives on common mental health issues that some of us struggle to overcome on a daily basis. By sharing their stories, they hope to create connection. By creating connection, they hope to help you find your purpose. And through purpose, we can all begin to build the foundation for positive mental health. This is Above Ground Podcast. Are you ready to lace up your boots, throw up your horns, and jump into the pit? Then let's stomp the stigmas of mental illness. It's time for Above Ground Podcast. Now, Will Foley and Timothy Patrick. This episode is brought to you by Inner Balance Massage Therapy, located downtown Boston Spa. Inner Balance offers all styles, a long list of products, and relief from the everyday wear and tear. Call Nancy at 518-588-4949 or go online and book an appointment at www.innerbalancemt.com. Call Nancy and mention this ad and she'll give you $15 off. Nancy at Inner Balance Massage Therapy. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to Above Ground Podcast. <laughs> the, the, the sweet, <laughs> subtle sounds of Will Foley. You know who that is. You down with DPP? Why, yes, yes, you know me. That's right, Timmy. Timmy, what? Timmy, Timmy. <laughs> I'm feeling all tingly. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I know what to do. <laughs> what are we talking about today, Will? We are talking about a skill that we could all use Oof. called active listening, man. Ooh. Active listening, it's its open, direct attention to what a speaker is saying. And, you know, we really do try to practice this on the show. Yeah, like when yeah. We're, when I think we're we, together. Yeah. And I think, I think sometimes we do it really well, just like everything else. And then sometimes... I think sometimes we're we and just sometimes like in any conversation. Sometimes we're human, Will. That's right. Sometimes we get stuck on. Oh my God, what am I going to say next? Right. And you and you miss the whole point. But that that's happens. that's not using your active listening skills, <laughs> right? But at the same time, what I kind of once I started to look into this more is, um, you know, active listening isn't isn't just you know being deeply engaged in what you're saying or what someone's saying. You know, it it requires like some talking and some like, I don't want, I don't, I'm, this might be the wrong word, but like a counter question, like to know which certain, que like I can ask a question if I'm unsure that kind of alludes to what I'm thinking that can help you describe back to me sort of thing. Sure. It, and and it, what you describe back to me will help me ask you the next question right. or help me ask yeah, the yeah. next question to you to get you to open up to me. And, you know, active listening is, is a, Big communication skill, but there's more to it than just the conversation. There's the eye contact. Yes. There's yes, the actual yep. looking like you're interested and in right. not looking at your shoes, checking your phone. Yeah. You know, all those even barriers that we... Even what I'm doing right now, like saying, yeah, I hear you. Oh, that makes sense. Or uh, even, and, mm. even just a mm-hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm, that's all. Yeah. Active listening, you know. People hearing without listening. Good communication is a necessity for connection. Listening completely. Commit. No distractions. Make a choice to sit and actively listen. It takes practice. Elements. Nonverbal communication. Put any distractions away. Eye like contact. Me and my candy cane yes. right now. Like put your candy cane <laughs> away. Put it away. Eye contact. Observing and you know, use observation. Verbal communication. Ask good questions and let them fully answer without interruption. Resist the urge to jump in and talk about your experiences until they are done with theirs. So it's kind of like a stop, pause, listen. And then when you actively listen, I think you can actively communicate back with a, you know, a real response. And I think that's really what it all comes down to is I think it gives you a second to, it, well, it gives you time to actually process what the other person's saying. And it, it maybe not come off the, with the first thing that you were thinking about saying because you, you pick up on something else that's in there. Right. 
Like I get, because I, I think the the goal of of active listening to be an active listener is to understand your perception of what you're saying, think, or trying to trying to convey. Yeah, I think that's a good. I think that that is a good. I think that is exactly what it's to convey. I think. Um, I think it also, in a in a traditional sense or in a in a more mental health setting the act of listening also allows you to hear what the other person needs there you go without you right forcing what they need on them right 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 yep i don't know if these are i don't think i i would say that these are not in order but there's a couple things here there's um like paraphrasing clarifying reflecting and summarizing Yes, those are those are ways to to um to good active listening. Right. Those are good active listening tools that reflecting and you hear this a lot like when we interview people on the show and good people always reflect back something that they hear that that asks the you know that that actually leads to the stairway of the next question. Right, right. And that's right. how Right. Right. So like what I'm hearing is and then go off of what you said, you know. Sounds like you're saying this or that kind of thing. You know, allows the speaker to hear and focus on his or her own thoughts. Allows the speaker to see that you are trying to understand his or her message and perceptions. Encourages the speaker to continue speaking. Yeah, and I think that in the encouragement part is the biggest, I think, is the biggest benefit of that. Sure. Because if you feel like you're being listened to, you're more apt to talk. And then you're more apt to let your guard down a bit and say you may even, you know, open up enough to where your needs can really be served because you're comfortable enough to ask for what you need or what you think you need. Right. And maybe it would actually help and facilitate just, the maybe that maybe that's not really what uh, you need but it might it. right yes i agree with that 100 percent. what will just said it i think it's uh you know will and i are at the ping pong table right now and you know he hits the ball over to me as like you know he's talking about something and then in my you know i would have to hit it back and be like oh if i'm hearing you correctly you're saying this cow and then hit it back to him and then it's you know what i mean yeah it's it's exactly a volley like in Tennis or table tennis, anything, where you have to give something to the other, get it over the net, and it comes back to you. And the idea is to keep keep passing it along so you can come to a conclusion. Right. And, and I, I, I do. I love what you said because sometimes maybe I'm saying something wrong and you're not really understanding it. And then you could be like, hey, I'm not really – I'm not sure I, I quite understand. Do you mean this or can you say more about this? And then, you know, as it – as we – get further into the the conversation i guess it would become more clear yeah and it becomes clear especially i i and it i think it becomes clear when one person decides to take the reins of being the active listener which i i do think that there's a barrier to that at times do you think it's it switches like say if you took it on for you know to start off you took on that role would it switch eventually to me, or would you hold it through the whole conversation? It really depends on the conversation. Okay. If you're in a peer support position where you're working with with someone, then it's strictly about them, and you are strictly the active listener. Right. Because you're trying to figure out what they need and what services that you need to provide and where you need to go next. And you and it also and it it helps you focus on them. And I think that there's a benefit to that for you because then you don't focus on you. Yeah. I and I do know that it's it becomes I, I've caught myself doing it because I've caught myself in a couple of these blocks to listening at times, especially oh, sure. when you're trying to co connect with someone. You tend to get you go down that rabbit hole of telling other people what you experience sometimes, and you and it's. And it plays on me a little bit. It doesn't, yeah. And, and and it, but you know what? It's about learning too. It's like you know what? You can pick up on it and go, hey, you know what? Maybe I'll, I'll decrease that a bit, and you know, I'll just be more aware of it. Even 
That's what active listening does. It learn you learn. That's well, perfect. Then there you go. See, that was perfect because you can learn about the other person. But I think in an active listening situation, you can also learn about yourself. Self. And which I wonder if that's hard for some people. I think it's very hard for yeah. some people. Yeah, because I don't. And it, and maybe not for the obvious reason that people don't want to learn about themselves. But I think it might be hard to, at the end of it realize what you learned because you were trying to help someone else okay or understand yeah, that, there's that a other lot person to this. there's wow. a lot yeah there's a lot to that you know there's a, that's it, that's a big backpack that you're carrying up a, <laughs> yeah, up, a, up a hill you know so this the the next one would they have it listed as uh clarifying invite the speaker to explain some aspect of what sh she or he said Give the speaker the opportunity to elaborate and clarify, and it gives you the opportunity to identify anything that is unclear and to check the accuracy of your understanding. Right, and if, I think by clarifying, it actually helps get to the next part of the feedback. Because if, if people clarify for you what they're looking for, you can actually give accurate feedback. Yeah. And then they and then if by giving the feedback back to that person that you're trying to listen to, it actually will help their feedback I come back like, to you, I think. I feel like this is such a good practice. It's, I feel like it's like a win-win. Like if 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 you can do it, like I feel like it's a time-saving practice. Like if I clearly understand what you want and then I go, "Well, is this exactly what you and you're like, "Yes." And we okay, and boom, we don't have to sit here for 20 minutes talking about it. I can get to it. I think for a situation like you and I, it might be easier because we know each other. I think that trust is the big barrier in a lot of situations because hmm. you have to trust the person that you're that you're opening up to or talking to. Okay. And you have to trust that they have your interest at hand and that they're there for you and not just for, you know, uh, whatever, whatever that that interferes with that connection i gotcha because i think that that's where the connection is built is in that trust because that's you know you're the chord from from the you know from the guitar from the guitar is is the trust and the commitment is the amp playing back to you nice. what what you have put into the guitar because you're given you know I, I, maybe you no, know i think that's pretty i like that at least i like it i don't know if it's you know, if it's um, academically correct, but I like it. <laughs> and some of the stuff that I'm reading off of, by the way, is from Boston University. I don't know if that makes a difference. Boston. But I'm, I'm just, just Harvard. Figured I'd let you know. Harvard. Uh, reflecting. So reflecting uh, how to do it. Uh, relay what was said back to you to the speaker to show that you understand. Kind of like what I said earlier like uh, I get the sense that you might be feeling afraid about what might happen if to me it sounds like you're frustrated because you know so you're saying that you were feeling more frightened than angry you know it deepens understanding of feelings and content it allows the speaker to see that you are trying to understand his her message and perceptions it's kind of what I was saying earlier yeah yeah there's a lot what you're saying earlier I guess I read some stuff up on active listening, didn't I? Hmm. So what do you think some blocks are to that active listening besides the, the trust factor, which I think is which you know, I think is a huge I, barrier. It is. And I didn't to be honest with you, I didn't you kind of caught me off guard. I didn't I I would have never said trust, but that's definitely uh I, I, I think that's definitely in there. Um I think not knowing you know, how to do it is obviously a, a barrier, would be a ver barrier. Um, interrupting. Um, I think p there's some people out there that, that, that just want to fix, like fix you or fix the situation. So there, it's almost like you say a couple words, they hear those, and then they stop listening, and they're thinking about fixing it and, and what, what they're going to say to you. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. Definitely. Because that's and that's that part of um that's that part of like either mind reading or Yeah, mind yeah, mind reading, sure. Or advising or even sparring, which are these are all actual legitimate barriers yeah. to active listening. Oh, um, is that is that advice? Yeah, there's um 
there's twelve. Really? There's twelve blocks that here are on this sheet that I have about active listening, and I can't remember where I got this from. Um, What's up at the top there? No? Uh, it just says uh, yeah. active listening skills. Yeah, I found so much therapy stuff online. It's been amazing, but I got to write down where I got it from. <laughs> so some of the blocks to listening on the part of the listener are one comparing. There you because go. we do compare, and we all know what happens when you compare. That's right. <laughs> Comparison is the quickest way to an unhappy and unhealthy life. That's right. Uh, mind reading. And mind reading, uh, the mind reader often distrusts what he has heard. Nice. He Good or call, she has Will. heard and consequently tries to figure out what the other person is really thinking or feeling. But doesn't, I don't think, actually understands because they're not listening enough to, to right. pick up on it uh rehearsing and that's the one we were talking about too about you're thinking about what you're going to come out oh, with okay rehearsing is that what with, they... yeah it's called okay. rehearsing and i think like when we were talking in one of the past episodes in an you're episode right. about boundaries rehearsing. and boundaries we talk about we were talking about how we don't necessarily think rules at work are boundaries right but rehearsing <sighs> happens at work all the time because you're always thinking about the attack or you're always on the defense you know what i mean and i th and and i think it's i think it's if you always feel like you have to defend yourself i think you're always rehearsing your comeback that's a good that's very good insight i like that's you're right so that's that could be a tricky one because yeah that's a tricky one i think that that could be situational environmental that yeah I'm going to read one more because we just hit upon it and it's been my big, it's been a big hindrance for me. <laughs> and that's the identifying. You take everything a person tells you and refer it back to your own experiences, which I, which I, I get is a hindrance, but it's also, I, yeah, is there a I, fine line to see, that? I, that's how I feel about it too. Before you even said that, I'm thinking to myself, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think if you, I think. I, I I think if you do that and like almost like if you're telling me something, okay, and you haven't even finished telling me the story and I bust out, interrupt you and start going off of, you know, maybe then just because it, you're not heard. You know what I mean? You're stuck telling half a story like, hey, what about me? You know, like you took over and I think. Yeah, you now you're right. But But otherwise, like if you told me that and... At, and at the same time, I'm like, oh, that that was like, I can understand that because blah, blah, blah. And then, okay. And then you go to, and it, there's almost, I feel like that would almost create more trust and more, more of a, a a bond in a way. I think it does. But I think when it becomes a hindrance is what you just said about yeah. the person not feeling validated and, and listened to. And I, and, and I, I got to be honest with you, man, this happened to me recently. Okay. Um, this has happened to me recently. Someone reached out to me to reach out to someone. And I, I realized that when I got done with the conversation that I think I may have, I don't think I was as much of a benefit as I, as I was hoping to be. And I that felt... That could be your perception too, though. Well, it could. It could be perception. But I, I tend to think that it may be a little bit more of the identifying because... And that that problem comes into play when you have this need to feel like you know something, but yet you're not like confident. Okay, I see, I start to see, I can see that a little bit. Yeah, but I think under the uh, you know in, in certain circumstances, like say in your situation, I don't know exactly what what it entailed, but if someone was like you know, hey, you can talk to a friend of mine. He knows a little bit about this stuff and might be able to, you know, and that situation is perfect. But if someone were to, like, call on you and and be like, hey, you know, I need some expert advice, you know, you, you would have to kind of, like, disclaimer. Like, hey, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not this. I, I can, you know, I can sure listen and give some advice, but this, you know. Yeah, I don't, I, I found myself at a lack of advice and I found myself more trying to um trying to like and I can't think of the word now of course not um 
Candy cane? Yeah, candy cane. <laughs> I thought the candy cane would help, man. It's peppermint. It tastes good. It smells good. It's candy it's, corn. It's candy corn. <laughs> candy cane. Syrup. Syrup. That's right. The four food groups for help. Uh, <laughs> um, I I thought it would help me, like let this person feel comfortable that I knew what they were going through, but okay. I I think that it it hindered it hindered the the help. But I also found myself at a loss when they were telling me what they had already done and yet nothing seemed to change anything and I didn't have any other advice. Like, and I, I, and maybe I wasn't supposed to give advice because you, you know, and that's the, and that's part of the, it is, there's a fine line. It of, is, but again, it's like you can only be held accountable for so much. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're doing, you're, I'm assuming you did your best and you did what you felt was right at that time. So like, that's really all anybody can ask for, you know, at the end of the day, it's like, you know, I know how you are with that stuff and I'm the same way. It's like after the conversation, then you start going in your head like, shit, I should have did this. I, I wonder if I, I wonder if I said this instead of this would have been better. And it's, it's, it's a tough, tough cycle to, to break, but it's it's definitely I don't think it's too healthy to do, you know. Yeah, it is a very hard cycle to break. I mean, I've reached out to this person again via text just to check in and did they contact you back? Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, yeah. Go, After so. a couple of days, they did. All right, and I huh? and that's kind of what if they were going to reach out to me, that's kind of what I expected, and because I know how the conversation went and I right. know how hard it was to get the conversation started. So, I, I you know. Well, so there you go. So even if you, even if you felt like you, you know, should have done something differently, you started a conversation. So you know what? That's yeah. that's a big thing. That's yeah, and big starting thing. and and obviously starting the conversation is usually the hardest part. Sure. And putting yourself out there to say, hey, you know, I'll I'll be more than happy. Right. To... Right. I'll talk about this stuff that no one wants to talk about. Sure. You know. <laughs> Yeah, your de- your dead aunt. She's in the closet. Yeah, we'll talk about her. I'll, sure. I'm not helping you get rid of the body, though. All right, but we can talk about it. Sure. Why does it smell? Why is it there? Yeah. Why <laughs> do you feel the need to keep her around? <laughs> you have to let go now. You have to let go. <laughs> no. So on this uh, on this sheet from from Boston University, it's got tips for active listening. It's got do's and don'ts. So uh, you do don't you do, you don't, not. You do you not you do not want to <laughs> do the, these you do the, not want to do these are the do nots of active listening the do <laughs> these are the do nots of the donuts <laughs> <laughs> dominate the conversation interrupt jump to conclusions which could be hard for some of us <laughs> um, <laughs> de- demonstrate impatience or multitask. Listen with biases, bias, and or shut. That doesn't make. Listen with bias or shut out new ideas. Yeah, that's being closed-minded. Oh, I see what they're saying. Okay. I, I mean, to to really put it at the yeah, yeah, most yeah, basic that, of a, level, yeah, I think didn't that's what they're shout mean. out or shut out new ideas. Now right. I get it. I yep. Okay, it didn't sound right when I'm reading it, but now that you say that, yeah. So closed-minded. Yeah, take your closed mind and open it up with a knife. I don't know. If we'd I, wa- that, I, I don't know if we want to. I don't know if we want to say kidding, something, folks. These don't are don'ts. These I are don't. the don'ts of the donuts and the do's. These do- are the don'ts of me, baby. These are the do nots. <laughs> <laughs> These are the do nots of active listening. Do not tell them to open it with a knife. What do you got? Uh, what do you got there, man? Well, so we we've kind of gone over the do's and don'ts a little bit. Yeah. Um. I really think that listening with awareness is is hard in certain instances. It's hard to actually get an active feel when you text, even though sure, a lot of people I mean, communicate b- yeah, via text I know. now. I know. And I think that that's a barrier, but though, think, to actual... I think you could actually incorporate... This is just me. The, the, I'm, I, I, I'm thinking you can incorporate active listening through a text. You could be like... Hey, I'm not really sure if I'm understanding this. Do you have a couple minutes to call? I like that. That's good. 
That's uh, that's actually really good. I wasn't even thinking about that. Yeah, that could be. So for the for the for the the technologically technologically inclined people out there to to text, some of us some of us text to 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 actually not speak to people, you know, I guess, but, um, you know, in situations where, you know, if it's important and you have five minutes to, to talk, you know, and you need clarification, um, then I think it's worth to, to ask that question, you know, and actually asking good questions and asking follow-up questions is the best way to prove that you're actually actively listening. Right. Right. Because, like, when we're sitting here, if you're sitting on a Zoom, you can pick up on the on the social cues of eye movement. And, okay. And you can sense rigidity, at least in person. You can sense when somebody feels, you know, attacked or feels that they're not being listened to. It's a, And you can sometimes hear it in the reflection of the tone of voice if you're on the phone. But I, it's much harder text-wise. Right. So you have to be really, you have to be really cognizant of what you ask and how you ask it. Yeah. And and I hadn't thought about that until you until we just brought that up because because I know so many people do use that as a form of communication. But right. and I always say this. I've said it to you probably. I know I've said it to my wife. You lose context in a text. Said, yeah, yeah. There's there's you know there's I don't you know. Yeah. That's why there's no con in the text, because there is no context to it. <laughs> it's just, uh, you Will's know. making up words over here, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, you're right, though. I mean, that, 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 that can happen, you know. And then that can lead to, you know, an argument or, or whatever, you know. I think it leads to misunderstanding. Misunderstanding. Yeah, that's and I think that, and for. that's, that kind of, I think, kind of covers it. In a, yeah, in a, right. That puts it in a big box that kind of covers it all because misunderstanding can have different levels, obviously. Right. Right. But, and one of the, you know, and one of the things that I, I find very hard is to not control the message because that's a barrier to, that's a barrier to listen and like complete control of the message. Like you can't, you have to, I, I, you, you can't. I don't think in an active listening role you're necessarily going to offer advice unless you're asked for it. Oh, well, if that's the case, then I struggle with that too, yeah. Because it's, because you, you know, active listening is the two way street, just like, da- you know, just like dancing, where you got right, right. Where right. one partner has to let the other lead and you have to just kind of fit into that. But, yeah, I mean, I, I agree though, but I, I, I guess thinking about it, it could, you could you could kind of you know use one of these uh, I'm not sure I quite understand but you know do you want my uh, thoughts on this do you want my opinion advice on this situation sure you know so uh, you know a lot of active listening is is asking questions it, it's as, it's asking questions and yeah. you're always gonna and I hmm. think if you pay enough attention you're always gonna know what question to ask but I think that the barrier to being afraid to ask a question, is, is something that we hadn't brought up about being a barrier. Are you afraid? Like, don't be afraid right. to ask. That's like, and when we talk about suicide, don't ever be afraid to ask somebody if they are thinking about hurting themselves. Right. That does nothing to put the thought in their mind. If they express that interest, that actually is a very disarming thing to do because it helps, it, it, helps it helps put them at ease that they know that you know. Yeah, and they may even feel comfortable enough talking a little bit about it, so which could be a you know a tremendous help, you know, and that's that's kind of what we want to do. We want to be a tremendous help. Tremendous. You like it's that tremendous. word? It's tremendous. It's tremendous. I don't know why I just chose tremendous. It tremendous. Tremendous. Just sounds big. Tremendous. It sounds big. That's tremendous. <laughs> It sounds, it sounds taller to me. Tremendous. That's tremendous. One of the things that um, that I that I didn't uh, touch on was uh, summarizing. Identify, connect, and integrate key ideas and feelings in what the speaker said. It helps both listener and speaker identify what is most important to the speaker. And I guess some examples of. Uh, that would be, let me summarize what I heard so far. 
I think I've heard several things that seem to be important to you. First, this. Second, that. Sounds like there are two things that really matter most to you. I like that. Summary is kind of like a drummer who fits into the pocket of a song. Because if a drummer plays too fast and you're, the song's not meant to be that time, you're going to stumble all over it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Where, where if you're an if you're if you're an a good active listener and, that, and that's you know I I think that no. just by listening so do is th- good but I think that there's ways to be better at listening. So I'm going to say the paraphrasing is the singer, clarifying is bass, reflecting is the guitar, and summarizing is the drummer. There we go. I like that. We the, just made a band. The band of active listening, the band man. Of acting active listening. Band of asking questions is really what it. I'm going to change the names. Not active listening. It's asking questions. Asking better questions. Asking better questions. <laughs> we are just changing. We're making up words, changing shit. We don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> we're making eye contact. We're using verbal um, communication, and 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 yeah, we're asking good questions. Are we asking good questions? Well, I don't know. I just kind of went on a tangent. Okay. <laughs> I think we're we're we may not be asking good questions, but I think we're 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 um we're having good conversations. Yeah, and good conversations can often lead to to good questions. Sure. What 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 can good questions lead to? Well, good questions can lead to to better responses. Because that's essentially active listening is really about getting the best response for the situation yeah yeah i mean that yeah that's great i i I, yeah i feel that that is um accurate because he even says up here uh let's see blah 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 back to the speakers so that they can confirm the accuracy of your understanding so yeah i mean it makes sense you know communication listening Asking questions, you know, it's like, uh, you know, maybe some people don't even really know. They don't even really know what, what, you know, what they want or what they don't want, what they want to hear, what they're trying to do. You know, maybe they're unsure and they don't know how to kind of um, um, communicate it, you know, verbalize it. Sure. And I think it comes back to. Maybe boundaries, too. We've sure. talked about boundaries. Sure. And I think it comes back to you not being able to ask certain things. And that's going to be a hindrance to the active listener, though, if you can't express what it is you need. Because it does put it does put a lot on the active listener's plate to try to... You're right. You're right. Excuse that's me. Good. To try to get to the root of what it is that you're listening for. Right. Hmm. Now, if it's if it's about, you know, one particular item, that's one thing. But if it's about putting together, um, you know, say a, a wellness recovery action plan, which we're going to cover in, a, in another episode later on in the spring or whatever, um, which is a, a, a plan that, helps you actively recover from from a crisis or from from your illness to get on the path. I it I think active listening will help you put a better plan together and it'll also it also allows right. you to learn what that person needs to help to help them. Yeah, and kind of a reminder for you for like it's on pay, like you know what I mean so if you unfortunately get to that point of almost crisis you, you know you're not thinking straight you know what i mean so you look at the your plan and and you know usually you can have uh, a struggle buddy listed that you could call absolutely and even those and your struggle buddy might have might know what what your what your plan is and that's a good that's a good that's a good thing to have, and that's a good way to use your struggle buddy or, or to to incorporate your struggle buddy is by making them part of your your rap. But we'll cover that at another time. But I think that that comes to active listening. 
because if you're active listening and you're putting together a program like that with somebody, you can actually, you might be able to pick up on something that maybe they haven't been able to verbalize, but you can tell that it, that's kind of where they're going. Sure. Yeah. And that'll it, allow you to ask the question, is this, is this what it is that you're asking me to do? Look or, at us coming around need? full circle. Wow. Such a big boy you are. <laughs> 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 it's like, you know what though? It's kind of like, uh, I almost equate it to like, you know, a song, like songwriting, you know, you could, you could have something kind of, uh, on the table that you've been working on and you'd be like, Hey, check this out. And you show it to the bass player and he's like, Oh, and he adds a little bass. And then you'd be like, Oh wait, you know what? Instead of this, I'll do that. Like, what do you think as a drummer? Like, check this out. And then I could be like, ah, maybe switch this and try and put it here. Or maybe do this one time longer. And then, you know, three heads are better than one kind of thing. Sure. The arrangement. That's what it's all about. The arrangement. Where you put the hook, where the lead up comes to for the build, you know. Yeah. yeah. And then you got a little, you got a little pre-chorus to lead into the hook, and then you got a little turnaround to get back. That's what it's all about. It's all about finding that, the the back the the way to get back to where you started. And have and and have, uh, you know, good support too, in the process. Yeah, and I you think know? active listening will help you find better support. Yeah. And that's and that's essentially what we all need is we all need better support. And and again, the one thing that I'm I've learned over the last few weeks, um, just from personal things going on, that we all have to be our own advocate if possible. And it's hard to do that sometimes. But, sure is. But But you, I think we've always kind of said that too. You know, I think we've always really, you know, said that you we it, you have to be your own. again, again. You're the one that is struggling, and you have to kind of, you know what I mean. Put the back, but you have to you have to get all the belongings in a backpack and then wear the backpack. It's like, man, I'm already, you know what I mean. It's like, dude, I'm already like missing some things and I can't climb the mountain. I'm tired. All right, well here you got to do this. So it's like, man. When people say warrior, it's, you know, it's, it's tough, you know, but you're right. You have to, you, I, I do, I, I agree. You have to, you really have to be your own advocate, you know? It is. But you know what? If you've survived up till now, then you are going to make it. I'm telling you. Yeah. And, and. That's what, that's why we're doing this. That's what we do this for is that it, 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 you've proven if you've survived already up to this point, then you've survived every bad day you've had. And there's other people out here doing the same thing. And that's why we're here. That's what we want to do. We want to be part of the solution or at least part of the, part of the, uh, conversation. Part of the so conversation, yeah, and the solution, man. Any any kind of yeah. If we can great. do it, you can do it. It's true. That I yeah, I don't know if that sounds ego or if it sounds bad, but I, I agree with that statement that Will said. If we can do it, you can do it. And I mean, we're living proof. You know what I mean? We are. You know? I think that if you're listening right now, you should take your left hand and then Point your index finger and then put it on your nose. And then your right hand place over your heart. Now, do you feel your heart beating? Now, take your hands away and then shake your hands. Woo, shake Okay, them. you have a heartbeat and you're shaking your hands. See? You're alive, man. You're yeah, human. You're above. You're above. Right? So make sure you stay above. Yeah, stay above, will you? Because we need you here. We need you to listen. That's right. <laughs> so until next week, be well. Be safe. Be above. above.